Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to my Onward movie review. I watched this movie, I think, a week or two ago. I saw it opening night um, to a very, very empty theater. I think there was me, uh, my date that I was with, and maybe four other people in the whole theater. I was really surprised because it's a Pixar movie. Um, this movie, when I walked out of it, uh, I really felt it was... It felt like a DreamWorks movie. It did not feel like a Pixar movie. And uh, if I had to describe this movie in one word, it would be lacking. It is not the worst Pixar film. Um, I liked it better than Cars. I never saw Cars 2 or 3. Cars I actually thought was the worst one. It was the most boring. This movie was just lacking. Um, there were... Like, it was hard to connect to the dad because it's just a pair of legs. I don't think this is spoiling anything. And... They, they, you could tell that they went for the emotion uh, at the end, but it just, it kind of, it, that was not a fart, by the way. Uh, uh, it just, it kind of didn't work for me. I I don't know, I felt like some, some things were rushed. I, I like the, the cast of characters. I like uh, Chris Pratt um, as an older brother. I like uh, Tom Holland. And uh, Octavia Spencer, Julie Louis-Dreyfus, very good, diverse cast. Uh, Dan Scanion directed this. I don't really know. I'm not too familiar with his work. Um, uh, I guess he worked on um, Monsters University, but I don't know really what he did. It says he did miscellaneous work. Um, so I guess he directed this to go from, like, miscellaneous crew to a director is kind of strange. Um, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe I guess they decided to give him a shot. He wrote it, so um, I mean that's cool. It's not. A, it's not a bad. The story is actually good. The world is cool. It's a world of magic that's been kind of like nobody uses magic anymore. But there, there was like this like lesbian fairy biker gang that was annoying, and then like they came back later, and I'm kind of like why. Um, there's like a side plot that goes on between the mom and a manticore which I didn't care about and they didn't really need. I don't know why they didn't just take them. I don't know why they didn't take the mom. You know what? They, I know they wanted to make it about two brothers. They really should have just taken the mom. It's her husband that they bring back. What doesn't she want to see her husband? You know, and and the payoff at the end is not that good. Uh, the the thing that they were going for, I understood it, but it just something didn't connect. I, I felt a little bit of a tingly, like, little emotional thing, right? Like, I started to, like, ooh. But then it, it just, it wasn't, like, inside out that broke me, right? It wasn't, like, up. Um, even I felt more in uh, Toy Story 4. Um, granted, those characters have been around 25 years. Um, e everyone did a good job with, with, like, their performances. It's just, I think the story... There was a lot going on and there was a lot I didn't care about and I wanted to care more. There's like a cop chasing them down who just seems like he gives up after like, oh, something's in my way now, okay. What? I, I don't understand. There's a lot of stuff that seems contrived and too easy. It's very contrived. One character turns on a dime and then they turn back on a dime. I don't get it. I understand what they were going for. The lore is good. The overall plot is kind of good. It, it's pretty good. And I, like, I can see everything that they were trying to do. But for some... It just didn't work. It didn't work. I don't I don't know. Or it worked, but not... I don't, I, I don't get it. I really did not like that manticore. That manticore was annoying me. It was just too over the... It's not a Octavia Spencer. It was just... It was kind of too over the top... Like, you would see that, like, in a DreamWorks, like, a, a really... I, I know it's for... To me, Pixar movies are not for kids. They're for families. And this felt more for kids, really, than anything. Like, that character was way too cartoonish. It, it was just way too cartoonish. Like, wah, 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 wah. And, um, yeah, it, it kind of lost me in the way. Um, on the Star Shatter scale, I give this movie a 52 out of 100. Slightly, barely better than the average... Um, I'd say this is probably, I don't know if, I didn't, it's a, it's an okay movie. You know, I liked it, but it, it's just, uh, I think it's around the same point as The Good Dinosaur. Um, I liked it better than Cars. 
and I, I think I've seen all the Pixar movies except those those last two car movies, and I never saw Toy Story two. Um, but I've seen all the every single other one, and I think this is in the bottom three. It's definitely in the bottom three with Good Dinosaur, Cars, and uh, and this one now. I don't know if I like this one better than Good Dinosaur. Good Dinosaur is another one I don't want to see again. But anyway, let me know what you guys thought. Um, leave your thoughts below. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Okay, bye.